Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool video game haul video for you today. I'm here with my brother Joe. Joey, where did you get all this stuff that's in these boxes? A customer just came in with them. A customer just came in with them. So we're going to unbox it, show everybody what we got. A big haul. It's mainly all old school stuff. So if you're into old school, and let's be frank, who isn't? If you're in old school, you're going to like this one. So uh, let's do these first, Joe, because they're right there on the counter. So first of all, to give you a glimpse of what's to come, we have some Atari 2600 games in the box in pretty much as new condition. This one is new. Yeah, one steel sealed. So we've got Desert Falcon. Have you ever played that one, Joe? No. Never played it. Now, these red ones, Joe, do you know the deal with the red cartridge ones? The red ones with the red border? They're light. They're lighter, aren't they? Yep. So the Atari 2600, uh, as it got later on, they started making them with these red borders, which were the ones that had more memory in them, so they looked better, too. So these were the later ones. So Desert Falcon, Gravatar. We had that uh, arcade game one time. I think, right? Yep. Yeah. Crossbow. These are all arcade. Well, those two are arcade. Secret Quest, Joust, boy, we've had that one. Look at that one. Now, the ones with the silver boxes, are they like kind of like the greatest hits? I don't know. I can't remember. And then Dig Dug, Steel Sealed. You know, that's an actual Atari game, like the Atari owned Dig Dug. Look what it says. That kind of looks like a KB Toys price tag. It says 2025 me and dad. Man, he sold it in 2021. He didn't make it. And then Battlezone, that's another Atari actual arcade game. Look at those graphics. Those graphics are actually better than the arcade version. The arcade version was vector, so it was just sticks. All right, so we got all those in. Now, we're going to see what we've got in with, in the box, and if there's anything we can test, we'll test it. But we're not going to test all the games. All right, Joe, put those over to the side somewhere, and then grab this big box here, and we'll do it first. Uh-huh. In television goodies. All right. Space Armada. All right. Moving right along. NHL Hockey. Yep. Boxing. Oh man, look, it's got the, the little overlays, the manual, and the cartridge. Pretty cool. Boxing. Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack. Show them, show them the artwork on the front. Look at this. Boy, they're all just having one hell of a time. Look how happy they look. All right. Poker and Blackjack. Looks like it's got them. Yep, got the little overlays. Cool. All right, moving right on. Demon Attack. Don't we have that for the? Uh, don't we have that for the Atari too? Probably. No, we're all sold out of those. Astro Smash. Okay. Boy, that sounds like a good one. Hey, look on the back of Astro Smash and see what that is. You know, these were all rip-offs of uh, other games. No, that one looks original, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks kind of cool. And then Space Battle. See what that one looks like. Boy, it looks like a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the mothership. Alien invaders approaching. Deploy Astro Fighters. Stand by, stand by to intercept. All right. Got some manuals. There's the Astro Smash manual. All right, what's this going on here? So high score. Oh man, somebody's high score. They got 44,660 points while they were staying at the Hilton in New York at Rockefeller Center. Wow. Okay, and we have the system. Old school and television system. 
Okay. What um, what am I seeing with all the wires down there? That's extra. Like, why did they need all that? Oh man, they done hacked it, Joe. They done hacked it up. Look what they did. Yep. So that connected to your TV and it's just little rabbit ears, but nobody has those anymore. So somebody tied wires to them and then taped it to a cable. Well, what do you think, Joe? Should we try that? Yeah. Maybe we can try it, see if it works. Look at this, Channel Master. UHF VHF band separator, okay. Here's one with no label. Mystery game, Joe, they like those. Oh, wait a minute, I found the label. Okay, somebody wanna guess what game it is? Joe, what game do you think it is? Mystery game. No idea. Better than you would think. So if you could get any in television game, Burger time wouldn't be that bad, would it? That's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna fix that. I can put the label back on. Um, Joey's hooking up the Intellivision. Here's another one. Now, explain to me how the hell this happens. Look at this. Look at this thing. What happened here? Crazy. And then this is a stethoscope. Why is there a stethoscope? Why is there a stethoscope in with their Intellivision, Joey? What's that all about? Might have to sell that. A DVE plug-in power supply for use with computer. Is this... The output is 9.7 volts DC. Okay. And then we have channel marker, see owner's guide. Another one of the little adapter things. And then this, yeah. Don't you like, you put that on their heart and go, excuse me, man. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, I think you're healthy. Let me check your neck. Yep, your neck seems fine. Let's see if we can hear the baby. Yep, that's all good. <laughs> all right. We're going to hook up the Intellivision and see what we can find. We don't have the burger time one. All right, so we kind of got it working. Joey, show them how you fixed it. He fixed it. Show them how you fixed it. I had it like that. So we were doing this. Now turn it on. It won't work, okay? But here's the secret to fixing it. It says insert to this line. So if you insert it to this line, the game actually works. Well, that's pretty good, Joe. Yep. And I took some glue and I put the label back on. Look at that. Restored. Top of the line. Now the top up there is a little, you see it like it was doing a little that's tricky fine. stuff. That's now, old. We can't figure out how to play it though. Because I got the wrong. I'm going to go turn Sonic off. Sonic, you're distracting us. So I'll just turn it down so we've still got good background ambience. Okay. It didn't have no burger time things in there? Nope. I didn't see any. He's going back to Astro Smasher. Need some volume on that one. Sonic, completely dead. Need a little bit of volume. There we go. All right, Astro Smasher, here we go. Ooh, yeah. He's trying to figure out which button's which. They might not work, do you know? I think I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> this is before Joey's time. Broke. He claims it's broke. I just heard a shot, Joe. That was in my hyperspace. Oh. 
Okay, so the jury's still out on that. I might have to mess with it. The, there you go. Auto fireworks. You may notice we have a P4 virtual reality headset in the background. So notice it's not plugged in and we ain't playing that damn thing. Nah, we're playing in television because we know what's fun, people. We know what's fun. You know what? This looks like a pretty cool little game. All right, so the Intellivision kind of works. We got to do further testing of the controllers, though. Maybe we'll try a different game where uh, we know more what we're doing and see if the if we can tell if the buttons work. You know, it's kind of unique. I don't remember playing a game that's just like that. Kind of similar to. Mess with the man a little bit. See how the screen turned red, just like it does on Missile Command. Yep, that's true. It is just like Missile Command. And then you hit the thing and it breaks off. You shoot off. things. Yep. Yep. You shoot things, like on miss Missile Command. Yep. Missiles and stuff. Yeah, there's missiles. See now with the blue background, it reminds me of Gorf. Yep. War is getting intense now. Well, you're pretty good at it. Okay, okay. Well, we'll come back after we figure out if the, if the controllers are working right. All right, so we confirmed it works, but the buttons, some of the buttons don't, so I'm going to have to mess with that. What's that? You can be killed. Be careful. Watch for wires. You could be killed if this product comes near electric power lines. Huh. Wonder what product <laughs> they're talking about. <laughs> Why didn't they tell us? It says read instructions. They didn't tell us which product. It says you can be killed if yeah. this product comes near electric power lines, we but might, it doesn't tell me which product. We better not finish this video. I've got lots of products in here. I, mean, I don't know. Okay, so that's that one, Joe. On to the next one. Now, we, here's the big tub of stuff. Sega Genesis 16-bit with the high-definition graphics. Hey, get the model number off the back. People like that. It is the 1601. Uh, I think that's the one that people want to see. The FCC ID. Because I think they're all the 1601s, aren't they? Okay, I don't know which one that is. We've always heard that the first ones are better. I don't know. Sega Genesis. All right, there is the Atari 2600 for those new cartridges that we found. So that's a cool one. And then here is the Sega Genesis arcade stick, arcade power stick. Boy, remember whenever Street Fighter 2 came out and you needed that to play Street Fighter 2 because it's got six buttons? Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm wrong. That's only the three button. Well, screwed that story up. Yeah. That's just the three button one. That one ain't With three turbos. Yep, that ain't the same. Uh-huh, a little Atari 7800 Pro system, huh? Let me see the power connector on the back of that. So here's the deal with these Atari 7800s. They have these little two-pin power connectors, and if you ain't got that little power con that little power thing, you are screwed. So hopefully it's in the box. J you pull out some stuff that, that might go to it, Joe. That might go to it. Uh, crossbow, huh? Now, didn't we just have a crossbow for the 2600 yes, over there, too? We must have really liked that one. Okay. Next. Joust. Now, didn't we just have Joust yep. for the... Boy, he must have loved some of them games. Pac-Man. Boy, that's a good one. I've heard so many good stories about that one over the years. Look, somebody's label fell off and they fixed it. Well, they did a good job, too. That's how you do it, people. It even looks like it's from the freaking 80s. Mm -hmm. I don't want to show them in the box because then they'll see all the good stuff. You know, we got to pull it out a little bit of time. Got to build up the suspense. Nice Atari 7800 joystick. Cool. Cool. All right, that's cool. And then he's got a Sega joystick here. Controller. Sega Genesis controllers. Sweet. 
One of them has nice red uh, still on the buttons, the other one doesn't. All right. Boy, we're starting to get quite a collection here. That's a great game. Atari 7800 one on one basketball. Dr. J and Larry Bird. Look at that. Very cool. There's the uh -huh, joystick for the Atari 2600. Have you got the power supply for either one of them and we can put hook one of them up? Yeah. And we can try some of these games when I they was, come out. I thought I was trying to build up the suspense. What's that? Looks like a power supply. All right, you people think it's going to work? There it is. There's the one. That's the special power supply you need. You think you people think it's going to work? All right, we're going to try to hook it up. Be back in a minute. We think we got it. Please wait, it says. What y'all know about that tower toppler? Yeah, that's right. Tower toppler. You're a frog. Here, I'll get closer so they can see the action. You're dead, Joe. Entering the Tower of Eyes. Oh yeah, you're the tower's turning around. Man, that is kind of impressive for an Atari game. Well, you're not very good at it. You want to try another one? Well, you told me to pick a game I never played before. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you went through. They killed you. You got killed. Yep, no lives left. No lives left. You know what that means? You're dead. Thou art dead. Thou art dead. Now, you're going to have to shoot him or go under, Joe. There you go. That's the Nope, can't jump them, Joey. Can't jump a virus, what are you thinking? Alright, he might get it this time. Still not what I'm supposed to be doing. You going up the tower. Yeah, but how the hell am I supposed to... There you go. There you go. Okay, yeah, you dodged them by doing that. Go up. Okay, go right, quick. Quick, Joey, here he comes, quick. Oh, you did it. Yeah, you're gonna die. Oh, it didn't kill you, it just knocked you down one. You're supposed to topple the tower, I think. Oh, you fall back down. That's pretty cool. It doesn't kill you. It just knocks you off the ledge. Boy, I can see where this would get old. Mm. Disappeared. The floor fell out from underneath you. Oh, All right. Wow. <laughs> the whole world fell out from underneath you. All right, so that's the tower toppler. So the 7800, Joey, does it work well, you think? It works perfect. Well, we're getting some good stuff out of this little hall. Look how clean that controller is. Boy, it does look clean. Top look at the all line. That. Look at that. 7800 and television. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's pretty nice. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so wait a minute. You pulled out some stuff over there. What? It's just Sony. Sony. Those don't count. Yeah, PlayStation. So you got some PlayStation controllers. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so the rest of this is all Atari games. And there's a bunch of them. So we're going to pull, pull them out and see if there's anything in there that you guys and girls think is cool. All right, pull them out, Joe, and we'll name them and stack them. Crossbow. We didn't do that one already? You put it back in the box, didn't you? Yeah, I did. There's a joust in there, too, isn't there? Yep. See how this goes? You see, he's trying Look to... eat One of the best of Ooh, all time. Ooh, Atari 2600 Mario Brothers by Nintendo. That's right. Nintendo was making games for the Atari. Figure that one out. Okay. And then you know what they did? They stabbed him in the back. Circus Atari. All right. That's pretty cool. Hey, you know, Joe, that's the one that actually has... Uh, is that the one that has Pong on it? Circus Atari? I know Combat has a Pong-like game, but I think Circus Atari is the one that... No idea. Warlords, that's a cool game. We had that cocktail, remember? Star Raiders, these are all the super common ones, people. If you get an Atari, you're going to have these same games. Bowling. 
Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Video Olympics, I think that's the one. Hey, go pop that one in. Let me see if I'm right about that. I think, I think this is the one with Pong in it. So people come in and they say they want Pong, but there isn't... Is there, there, I don't think there is a Pong for the Atari 2600. Breakout. Yeah, that's Pong. No, that's not Pong. Oh yeah, that is kind of Pong. Pong is. You're playing a one-player game of no, Pong. I don't think I'm playing. So Video Olympics, people, is Pong. So if you want Pong for the Atari, does it move the whole time? Can you change it? All right, we're going to, we're going to check a different one. Now you're invisible. Oh, you probably you're probably supposed to use the uh, paddles. the paddles. Does it say it? I think that's the deal, people. But yeah, so that's the pong one. That one in combat. All right. Back to the games. Journey Escape. I think that is uh, starring the band, too. Zaxxon, one of the greatest games of all time, according to some people. Not me. Night Driver, used with the paddle controllers. All right. These are still all kind of the common ones, except for that Mario. It's pretty cool. Infiltrate by Apollo. Look at that. Boy, can you believe the graphics look that good in that game? All right. Pretty cool. Atlantis by a magic. Midnight Magic. Boy, that's a pinball game. Pretty cool. All right. Air Sea Battle. All right. Pretty cool. That was a fun game. Video Chest. Skill level, beginner to expert. Adventure. Boy, that's a cool game. That's the one where you're just a little square and you don't know what to do, but it gets better. Summer Games, all right. Super Breakout, taped together. Word Zapper, that's where you zap words. It's one of them. Wait a minute. They're not trying to do an educational game on me, are they? Code Breaker, boom. Oh, code breaker you use with the keyboard controllers. Decathlon. Pretty cool. Junior Pac-Man. That is actually a very cool game. The tw even the 2600 version. Demons to Diamonds. That's very common. Dragonfire. Very common. Now that's known as uh, Skyrim. Combat. So show them the different games on it, Joe. See, it has Tank, Tank Pong, Invisible Tank, Biplane and Jet Fighter. Food Fight for the 7800. That's pretty cool. we got a few left, people. You're going to be here a while. Cosmic Arc. All right. I used to play that when I was a kid. I like that one. Demon Attack. Haunted House. That one's kind of neat, too. Star Voyager. Canyon Bomber, Brain Games, used with the keyboard controllers because that's what brainy people use, Exevious. All right, well, we're getting a heck of a little stack here. Slide that crap down. Let's get back to these Atari games. 2600, baby. Telegames, uh, oh, Jet Plane, Auto Racing, and Slalom Skier. Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space. That's pretty cool. By Activision. That's probably one of their first ones. Riddle of the Sphinx. Karateka. Karate Ka. Karate Ka. Vanguard. I used to play that a lot too when I was a kid. Carnival. By Sega. Space Attack. I don't like these. You can't stack them. Yeah, they don't stack as well. Missile Command. You know, those are basically in television cartridges that just don't say insert to this line on the line. Yep. <laughs> but it's the same thing, basically. Look, there's even the little hook. They just added this part. Where they added that part on. <laughs> yep. 
Lock and Chase. Isn't that a, uh, that's like a Miss Pac-Man ripoff. Yeah. Or Pac-Man. Fishing Derby. Boy, that looks great. Hold that one up. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, that looks pretty cool. Sky Jinx. I played that one. Dark Cavern. Tennis, real sports tennis. Kaboom, that's a cool game. Boxing, classic. Robot Tank. All right, we want everybody to put down in the bottom, if you've played all these, what your favorite one all these is. Defender. And Asteroids, that might have been my favorite one there because it was so simple and you could just play it. I was actually decent at it. You know, you could just play it forever. Enduro. Ice Hockey. Galaga for the 7800. That might be the best one. So far, I think it is. Yeah. Yars Revenge, that's a fun game too. Very colorful. Robotron 2084. That's going to be the the actual Robotron, isn't it? Isn't Robotron was called yeah. Robotron mm -hmm. 2084. Yep. So that's pretty cool too. Pole position too. I mean, everybody's played it, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game. People, we still got plenty more. Stargate. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen that one. I mean, that's that's the sequel to uh, Defender Stargate. Does it say Williams? I haven't seen too many gray ones with the 2600. Yeah, Williams. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a cool one. Holy crap. Crystal Castles. We have a new uh, 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 contender for best game. Crystal Castles. That's pretty cool. How did they play that? With the joystick. That probably kills it. Yep. You kind of needed it to be with the trackball. Jungle Hunt. Cool game. Venture. Pretty cool. Uh, telegame, shooting gallery, planes, submarines, and ships. All right. Dodge them, <laughs> which is a driving game. Uh, dolphin. All right. Miss Pac-Man for the 7800. Not to be confused with Miss Pac-Man for the 2600. Telegames, action racing, varied hurdles. And three skill levels, okay. See, they're all called tele games. So you just kind of got to look at the number. Burger time, baby. Another good game. These ones that were arcade games first are pretty cool. Outlaw. Hat trick for the 7800 for all you hockey fans. Football, that is the Atari X's and O's football, you know, the big one. Stampede. Golf, all right. Berserk, classic. E.T., everybody's favorite. Everybody wants to talk trash, but we sure sell a lot of them, don't we, Joe? We sure do. Matter of fact, I sold one earlier today. Yep. Grand Prix. People like putting it up on their shelf. Yeah, people like putting it on their shelf so they can mock it. This is the worst game of all time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Free weight. Believe me, people. Many of these games are worse than E.T. The people that played the 2600 back in the day, they know what I'm talking about. If you're under 30, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you're eh, 40 or so or up, you know what I'm talking about. E.T. was not the worst game of all time. It wasn't even the worst game that year. Star Master. Matter of fact, <laughs> Breakout. Now, nah, I like Breakout. Yep. I ain't going to yep. have no trash talk and Breakout in my, around me. Pele's Soccer. Boy, don't he look happy. He sure does. I wonder how much that, they paid him. Yeah, <laughs> he's making that license money. I'd be happy too. He's like, what? The video game? What the hell is that? You're going to give me $80,000 to draw my picture on a video game. Yeah, I'll do that. Space Jockey. All right. 88? That was kind of late, wasn't it? Yeah, 1988. Hmm. Whatever. 
That's nuts. The Nintendo came out in 85. Mm-hmm. I guess in America, maybe not till 87, mm-hmm. something like that. Human Cannonball. All right. That sounds fun. Othello. All right. Maze Craze, a game of cops and robbers used with joystick controllers. We're getting a few of them here, people. The stack is growing. Danky Kang, one of my favorites. I think it's pronounced Donkey Kong, though, if you're not on Jeopardy. Pitfall, that's a classic. Frogger, another classic. Well, we're getting some decent ones now. Tennis. Buck Rogers and the Planet of Zoom. Yep. Boy, that's cool. Remember when we had the arcade game? Yep. My focus will act right. Hubert, boy, it's seen better days. Solaris. All right, I don't know that one. I mean, I've heard of it, but... Whew, about lost my, my stash. River Raid, that's a good one. Choppa Command. Look at my stack, see? See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, can't, can't stack them. Checkers by Activision. You know, Activision made good stuff. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Boy, that's a classic, too. Two sticks, it says. Barnstorming. All right. And surround. All right. Still got some left, people. We're still digging. What else will we find? Let us know down below what you think. Now, if you want to go ahead and leave a review of any of these games that people may not know about, just go ahead and write it in the comments. Home Run. That's probably a baseball game. Star Master. That's the second one of those. The label's awful clean. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I see the other one down in there. Blackjack. Cool. Choplifter. Very cool game. Very, very hard, though. Laser Blast. Haven't played that one. Indy 500. Ooh, I got the reactor. That's pretty cool. Frogs and flies, very common. See that a lot. Sword Quest, Earth World. Not to be confused with Fire World or Water World. Basic programming, used with keyboard controller. Slot racers. All right, let's see here. Got a little bit more stuff. Oh, wow. The original Scream with David Arquette and Courtney Cox and Drew Barrymore and Nev Campbell. I'm gonna sell Who's that. Skeet Ulrich? I don't know that person. I don't know. I'm going to sell this to Paul when he comes yep. in. Paul's definitely going to want that. He told me that the Scream ones were the last great uh, slasher films. This is Spinal Tap. That's a classic there, too. Put that in Paul's pile. Yep. We have a customer named Paul who likes old VHS tapes. Look at that. Stargate. That's that same one that we had earlier. It's in there, though. It's in there. We got two of them. Very cool. All right. If two of you want a Stargate, come down and get it. Centipede. In the, in the nice box, too. Very cool. Hey, show them the artwork so they know what Centipede's all about. Did you know you were a wizard? Going after the centipede? Bet you didn't. Okay. All right, we're down to the ends. Backup, PS2 memory card, and finally, Lego Knights of the Kingdom. All right, so I'm gonna have Joey pick out one of these games that he thinks this is his favorite, and then we're gonna test out the 2600 with it. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, folks, we have the Atari hooked up. Now, Joe, what game did you pick? Frogger. Out of all those, Joey likes Frogger. All right, nothing wrong with that. There it is. You're going to be frogging away. Boom, 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 boom. You're supposed to move. Oh, there you go. Hey, there was... You gotta wait till the music stops. There was something on uh, KLOV where they were saying 
the up down challenge on Frogger. Like that. Did I just do it? You're supposed. To, I guess like Did I you, do it again. Yeah, I guess you. <laughs> I guess you only go up and down. You don't go left or right. Oh. So you screwed it all up. That's all right. How are you gonna get in all the spots? You can. You can do it. See how I did that there? I don't think you can do that on the on the arcade version. What? Ride it across the sides. That's some crap where they ran out of programming. Look at them. Uh -oh. Well, everything works. We didn't check the Sega. But a little secret, they almost always work. Look at him. He wrote it across the, the side again. That's why I thought you could do it on the arcade game, because I'd seen you do it on the on the video game, I'll bet. I would never. Boy, this is cool. Hey, in the arcade game, doesn't it play a song when you're running out of time? Doesn't it speed up or something as you're going along? The, the, the song? Yeah, it's got a little timer down there. And it goes... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Boy, they got the jump sound about right, though. I mean, it sounds a lot like... Now, if you guys and girls don't always watch our channel, I'm going to show you something really cool. While Joey changes the game. All right, Joe, that works real good. All right. We're going to try out Stargate too, but let me show you something real cool while he changes that game. So, in our store, we also sell arcade games. That's an original Sega Frogger. Bam! If you want to see us play that, go find the video here on our channel. We filmed a video of it. All right, Stargate, here we come. We'll see if we can get it to work, and then uh, we'll test the other 100 games. Because we always test them before we put them out on the shelf. So uh, we'll see what, what happens. Joey's trying to clean it off a little bit, make sure that it's all right. Ooh, about broke something, Joe. That's how it's supposed to be. Stargate. Look at that. Man, arcade doesn't do that. That's a different game. Nope, same game. Now, folks, we can't play Stargate. It's too damn hard, but at least we know that it works. That's about all we can do. Yep, that's it. There's a video of me playing a Stargate arcade game here on our channel, too, and I, I did about like this. You're supposed to grab the, the humanoids that are hanging off the ships. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Like mowing the grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy's awesome. We need him to... If he ever comes back... I think you drop them on the ground. Might have killed him. Might have went in hard. Could yeah, not. We had we had a guy that brought us a defender to fix. Yeah, he's just this cool guy, and you would never expect that this guy was good at defender, but the guy is awesome at defender. And uh, whenever he plays it, he he runs down low and shoots everything as it comes up, and he says, "Yeah, it's like mowing the grass." <laughs> All right. So what do you think, Joe? That's a pretty good haul of stuff there. Yep. All right. Review for them what all we got. Got an Atari 2600. That's cool. Atari 7800. All right. And television. Button's a little wonky on that. Yep. Got to get Ronnie to fix that. Yeah. I'll mess with it. Bunch of games in the box. Bunch of games. Hey, there was a burger time that we put the label back on. Good thing we found it. Yep. Nobody else would have done that. Yep. A little glue stick will do it for you people. Got a... Oh, there's some other, that's some other ones that were in the box. I forgot about those, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some VHS tapes. Yep. Got a Sega Genesis and the arcade stick and a couple controllers. Mm -hmm. Three, looks like three controllers. And an, an entire stack of uh, 2,600 games. So that's pretty cool, man. All right, well, I hope you all, you folks enjoyed it. Tell us what you think. What do you think was the best find we got out of the whole deal? What's your favorite? Oh, we also got a PS2 memory card and a Knights of the Kingdom Lego game for the Game Boy Advance. What's the best game out of this whole stash, people? 
Leave your comments below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for filming this for you. And check out our website, by the way. If you're into arcade games, if you go to our website, lionsarcade.com, we have all of our arcade games that are for sale. You can also go uh, and look at our video game stuff, but we don't have it all listed individually. But it tells you a little bit about our shop here. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Go check that out. And also, if you're into it, if you go on our website to our parts page, you can buy t-shirts, hats, hoodies, all that stuff to support our channel. If you enjoy what you see, you'll even look good while you're supporting our channel. And finally, well, not finally, I got two things left. <laughs> Down below our video, there is a link to Amazon if you want to help us out. If you go to Amazon by clicking that link, then it's like we sent you there, because we did. This is an ad for Amazon right now. <laughs> Uh, and if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, click our link first. It gives us a tip. We appreciate everybody that's been doing that. And finally, but not, but not least, go check out my brother's channel. The link is down below. My other brother and Joey's other brother, my brother Donnie. If you like watching us work on these old video games and arcade games and pinball machines, you might like watching us work on old buildings. We've been doing a lot of that on his channel lately. So go check it out, and I'll see you over there. So leave your comments below. Tell us what you think was the best find out of the whole thing, and we'll see you on the next video.